Good morning and welcome to So Like a Pro, Draft Patterns Like a Pro edition. I bet you ought to know that I know how to draft patterns. I went to school and got my degree in fashion design and had the best pattern making teacher ever, Alan Hetland. So, uh, in order for you to get this, which is called a block or slope, but they have a Vogue pattern that you can purchase. You cut it out in a muslin, fit it, make all the adjustments to custom fit you perfectly. You're going to have to have somebody to help you do it so they can mark it and pin it on your body. And then at the post office they sell this heavy brown paper. And then you eliminate all the seam allowances and then you transfer it off onto here. Or you can do it on some, some heavy interfacing. Whatever you want to use, that's going to become your block and you'll use that to draft all your patterns. So today we're going to start out with the basic how to change a dart into all these different positions. So we have French darts, two different positions at the very waist, at the side seam, like a third up the side seam. Parallel to center front uh, at the apex, which is your fullest point of your bust, to your side seam or your center front, we have an arm hold dart, shoulder, side neck, center front at the neck, center front at the bust, and center front at the waist. So we have all these different places that we can rotate the dart. That is so the dress or whatever will fit over the bust and you'll have room to move and to breathe. So one way we can do it, I already traced this off on a piece of white paper so you can see it clearly. And I am going to show you how to pivot a dart. I mean slash. We're going to do slash first. So if I wanted to change this dart, which normally is uh, on your slopers, the waistline dart. And now I wanted to change it over and make it a uh, bust line dart at my side seam or at my shoulder, wherever I want, we're going to slash and spread. So say for instance, I want this dart at my shoulder. I want to find the midpoint of my shoulder and then I'm going to mark it. I'm going to join these two together with a straight line. Now what I'm going to do is simply cut my dart at my waist, cut my new dart placement at my shoulder, down to my apex, and then the one at my waist, I can either close up the entire dart and get my new placement at my shoulder or I can simply close up half of it and I have a dart at my shoulder and at my waist. Now normally what we do is we'll go and bring this down like a half an inch an inch and raise this up an inch so the two points don't meet each other because you know that'll make an ugly point on the water. I go straight to that point. So that is what we do to slash. That's the slash method of closing or changing a dart. And we want to make sure that they line up exactly the same place at the waist. So you would do the same at any of these positions. Any of these that I named before. So now let's do the pivot method, which is my preferred method. So here, say I want a French dart. So I'm going to trace off where I want my new dart to go. Trace off my entire sloper and I'm going to trace all the way to my original dart first dart leg so I'm going to stop right here 
I'm going to use my apex as my pivot point. I'm going to leave a pin there. Make sure it don't move. Then I'm going to rotate this until it meets the first dart, meets the second dart leg, and then trace the rest off. My paper too short. Back to where I started. This is where I started. So if I leave the pin here and rotate it back, you can see that's where I started. And when I rotate this here and close that up, close up the waist dart, then I'll go back and join the two points together. And it's very important that we blend the darts. So I want to take this paper, flip it like this, flip it up, And then I'm going to take this and make sure that it pops up or go to the corner of the table and line the two up together. And then I'll cut it while it's folded. And I'll get the correct dart shape for me sewing my pattern pieces together. So, welcome to draft, drafting patterns like a pro. And I'll see you next time when we'll get started in another project. God bless all your pattern drafting projects.